this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Infusionsoft email receipts and templates to look like this one. And as you can see, there's just a couple of things you need to do to make it look uh, branded to your business, but I'll walk you through that process. And everything else, like these merge fields, should pull directly from your own Infusionsoft application, so that should be okay. So what you want to do is scroll down and download the HTML template. And once you've downloaded it, open it up in your browser of choice. I've got Chrome here. And right click once you've opened it up and click on View Page Source. And when you do that, it'll open up a, um, a file here with all of the HTML code. Go ahead and select it all and copy. All right, so from there, I'm going to jump into Infusionsoft and Specifically, where I want to go is under e commerce. There's a settings option here. Click on that, and then on the left, you'll click orders. And what you'll see is this invoice heading here, and it'll have uh, default order invoice and default subscription invoice template. I've already got mine set up here, but I'm going to click add for a new one. And it's going to open up a new window with the 1999 version of this uh, particular invoice. So I'm going to go ahead and title it as BD video test. Of course, the from you can change to whatever you want. The subject would be, uh, you know, your receipt and closed or attached or however you want to say that. And then uh, click on the little drop down arrow and choose use code builder. And go ahead and click OK. All right, so now it's giving me all the default code, but I just want to get rid of it and paste in what I had from the view source on the other window there. Now here are a couple of things you'll want to do once you've done that is uh, you want to first and foremost swap out your logo. And uh, what you'll want to do is go to about line, on, on mine it's about line 123, and you've got a couple of things that you'll want to replace. Mine says blickdigital.com, which is just my URL. So you can get rid of that and put in your own website. And then to get the image, that's, you know, if somebody clicks on your logo, that's where they'll go. And then to update the actual image of the logo, get rid of this, keep the quotes, and place in your logo wherever it's at. So let me just show you here what I mean. If you go uh, about here, I've got a good friend, uh, Greg, who does um, some Infusionsoft courses. If you right-click on your logo up here, if it's, especially if it's WordPress, it's pretty easy. You would just click right-click your logo and choose Copy Image Address. And then I'm going to come back in, and I'm going to paste that right in its spot. And hit Preview here just to make sure that that's, that worked. Cool. So it looks like it it's pulled his in. The next thing is the phone number that you'll want to update. So you'll scroll down just a little bit, and, and you can even do a Control F for find, and you can find that phone number, but you'll want to replace it in two spots. One is here, just the phone number itself, and then the actual link, again, just the phone number itself. And that's, that's there if they want to just click on the phone number when they receive it, say as an email, to make the phone call. And then the next thing is, going back to this preview here, if you scroll down to the bottom, I've got uh, just a really basic message to your first name. Thank you for your business if you have any questions. If you don't like that, of course, you can go, go down and change it, and then the little signature as well. So if you scroll down, again, doing a control F for find would be a really easy way to find this, but I'm just going to go and see if I can't find it here really quickly. So on about line 500 or so, you can see where this starts. So to your first name, thank you for your business and then you can make any changes. So I, I'm okay with how it is for now, so I'm just gonna leave it, and I'm going to hit Close Builder and definitely save those changes when they come up. And there you go, you'll see that it's got all the information with the new logo and any of your changes down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And go back into my Infusionsoft account. And I'm going to choose Video Test for both of them because I do a lot of subscriptions as well. Go to the bottom and hit Save. 
Now, just to test to make sure this works, what you'll want to do is go find an, an older order that you have and do what's called a preview invoice. So I'm going to go find this contact, and this is a link to the order itself. And if you scroll down to the bottom of any order, you are able to manually send and preview this invoice. So I'm just going to preview it. And what you'll see here is the correct logos in there. It's merged in all the appropriate, this is really what I wanted to check, is that it merged in, whoops, merged in all of the appropriate information. And looks like it has. I haven't made any payments. This is, uh, I still owe $200 on this, and this is why it's blank here. <clears throat> and that's it. There's your, uh, <clears throat> your receipt template. If you have any questions about implementing this or uh, suggestions, definitely leave a comment below, and I'd be happy to speak to you there. Thanks.